dude, if pancakes are just cakes baked on a pan, if you bake a pancake, is it just a cake? <laughs> dude. All right, so if we're gonna do some pancakes, we need a good pancake batter. I'm pretty good at winging it, but I'll try to give accurate measurements. Okay, into a big boy bowl, you're gonna dump two cups of flour and then the rest of the bag because you realize it's almost empty and we want three cups anyway. Two tablespoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt, a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Then mix up the dry ingredients. A lot, like way more than I did. I definitely underdid it here. Then make a well in the middle. Time for the wet stuff now. Add two cups of milk and maybe a little more if we need it. A couple of eggs, refrain from testicle jokes, most of a stick of butter, maybe six ounces. Pop the egg and mix the wet stuff on top before combining it with the dry stuff underneath. Be careful not to mix too much now because apparently that's a thing. It needs to be combined with no dry clumps, but just barely. Always taste it for quality, unless you're afraid of eggs. After that, just let it hang out in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes. Pat for good luck. And we can heat the oven up to, I don't know, let's go with 375. I've never baked a pancake before. I'm using what looks like a six inch pan, but it might actually be five inches. Nobody knows where to measure from anyway. Is it the bottom, top, uh, whatever, it, does, it doesn't matter. Save a little bit of the mix for later so we can make a pancake and have something to compare to. Then we'll just dump this all into a well sprayed cake pan. I'm gonna throw this into the oven for uh, 30 minutes. Again, I've never done this before, so sounds good. Another pet for good luck. Now it's time to do the pancake up top, medium high heat. Your pancake will start to bubble and have a nice firm edge when it's ready to flip. Dude, you wanna see me flip this without a spatula? Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. No, Pat, for good luck. Dude, you can't have a cake without frosting. You're right, dude. You can't have a cake without frosting. Gonna add some butter and peanut butter and syrup into a bowl and then microwave it so I can dump it on top. Dude, I'm gonna take a nice baseline test of this pancake. Mmm, that's a good pancake. All right. Enough of that crap. Drop a bit for a minute. Got the goods here. Let's take a bite of this. All right. As far as I can say, it tastes just like a pancake. Surprise, right? <clears throat> it's kind of got the consistency of cornbread, like a really moist cornbread, like a good cornbread. Like you would eat a lot of it. It's definitely not cake. So that kind of blows the whole thing that I was going for here. But I tried it. All right, like it's good. It was good cake. I mean, it's good pancake. We I would make this. If I could make a cake for like five people, I would do one pancake cake, as opposed to five pancakes. Is it quicker? Then mm, maybe not. But it's better, in my opinion. That that frosting, it's some good stuff. Like I'm definitely gonna keep eating it. I do have one note. Don't do the toothpick test and rely solely on that. You poke the toothpick in, it comes out clean. Oh, it's good, right? Mm -hmm, not with this. I poked it like five times, came out clean every time, and uh, took it out of the pan and it just collapsed. Dude, imagine if it had peanut butter in it already. Dude. Did I just have a three-way conversation with myself, stone squared? Yes, yes I did. And all three of us hit the subscribe and like button and you should do the same. You should comment too. That's actually just as important. But that's all I've got for you this week. I'll catch you next time.